Planning a trip to Punta Cana, one of the most sought after destinations in the Caribbean, can be quite an exciting endeavor. As you prepare for your journey, it's essential to cover all the bases. When it comes to travel, there are always questions which need to be answered. Such as, what is the typical weather like? How can I effectively navigate from Putacana International Airport to my accommodation? What type of currency and plugs are used in this country? Fortunately for you, we have all the answers you seek, as well as additional fundamental information regarding the optimal time to visit, modes of transportation, and practical travel advice. This video offers insight into some of Putacana's most prominent landmarks, such as the beautiful Bavaro Beach, the cultural gem Alto de Chabon, and the stunning Ayo Azul. Everything you need to know has been carefully compiled in this Putacana Travel Essentials video. Watching this video will prepare you to embark on your unforgettable journey to Putacana, Dominican Republic. So, we'll first start with this question. When is the best time to travel to Putacana? Putacana features a tropical climate with an average temperature of 26 Celsius throughout the year. The driest period is from December to April, with an average of 6 rainy days per month. From May to November, expect around 11 rainy days per month. The likelihood of encountering a hurricane is higher from September to October. The peak season in Putacana is from December to February, which means there will be crowds and higher hotel rates. For those looking to avoid the peak season, the best time to visit would be from March to May. During this time, the weather is still pleasant and the crowds are significantly smaller. However, keep in mind that there might be more people traveling during the spring holiday period. How to get around Putacana When staying at a seafront all-inclusive resort, walking is the most convenient way to access the beach and explore the area. For longer distances, there are several transportation options to consider. Renting a car provides the freedom to explore Putacana at your own pace. But be aware that the local drivers may not always adhere to traffic rules and traffic congestion can occur during peak seasons. Taxis are a convenient but relatively expensive option for getting around and negotiating the fare with a taxi driver from a nearby stand can help save money. Motor conchos or motorbike taxis offer quick and affordable transportation. But it's important to note that safety measures such as the availability of an extra helmet may not always be guaranteed. For an authentic local experience, consider using guaguas, the local buses, which are the most budget-friendly option. Keep in mind that guaguas may not always run on a strict schedule and can get quite crowded. How to get to my hotel in Putacana? Putacana International Airport serves as the main arrival hub for the popular resort town of Putacana. There is a secondary airport, La Romana International Airport, located 60 km west of Putacana, primarily used for private aviation. Putacana International Airport is one of the busiest airports in the Caribbean, situated 12 km south of Bavado Beach and 29 km from Macau Beach. The airport offers a tropical ambiance with open-air terminals and provides free Wi-Fi throughout the premises. Transportation options available at the airport include 24-hour taxi service located outside the customs area. Shuttle services provided by prominent hotels like Four Points by Sheridan Putacana Village, 
Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Western Putacana Resort, booking in advance is recommended. Local bus stops in front of the airport on Boulevard Putacana. Car rental services from agencies like Avis, Hertz, and Budget. For more detailed information on transportation services, you can check out my other video, Exciting Updates at Putacana Airport 2024, where I provide a more in-depth look at all the available transportation options. What are the main landmarks in Putacana? Bovalo Beach is a main beach in Putacana, an idyllic stretch of coastline bordered by luxurious resorts, beachfront apartments, lively beach bars, and delicious restaurants. This breathtaking white sand beach overlooks the clear turquoise waters of the Caribbean Sea. It runs for almost 3.5 km starting from Puta de los Neros and extending to Corrales Beach just north of Putacana Village. It's the perfect place to relax, soak up the sun, and take romantic walks along the shoreline. Alta de Chavon is a remarkable recreation of a 16th century Mediterranean village located in La Ramona, approximately 60 km west of Putacana. This extraordinary architectural project was brought to life by Italian architect Roberto Coppa and industrialist Charles Bulldog. Noteworthy attractions within Altos de Chavon include St. Stanislaus Church, a 5,000-seat Roman-style amphitheater, and the Regional Museum of Archaeology. Oya Asu, also known as the Blue Hole, is a mesmerizing cenote nestled within Skate Park, just 12 kilometers southwest of Putacana Village. This stunning natural water is a 14-meter deep freshwater pool located at the base of a limestone cliff enveloped by lush rainforest. Accessing Hoya Sul is an adventure in itself, involving a scenic hike through a dense jungle terrain and a thrilling crossing of a suspension bridge. What are the main annual events in Putacana? Carnaval Putacana Celebrate Dominican Republic culture during Carnaval Putacana in February. This two-day festival features vibrant costumes, traditional folk dance, and live music, including merengue, bachata, and reggaeton. Don't miss this lively parade showcasing groups from all over the island held along the boulevard in front of the airport. Experience Semana Santa, also known as Holy Week, in April. This important event leading up to Easter is widely observed throughout the Dominican Republic. Many water activities are reduced as locals take time off to participate in religious activities. Note that clubs and casinos usually close on Good Friday. Another main annual event that takes place in Putacana is the Food and Wine Festival. In June, the Food and Wine Festival at Paradisas Putacana Resort and Paradisas Palma Real Golf and Spa Resort offers a true celebration of culinary arts. Internationally renowned chefs, mixologists and sommeliers showcase their talents through cooking demonstrations, wine tasting, food pairings and wine seminars. Get ready for delightful cocktail parties and feast for the senses. Lastly, before we go, we'll end with the Putacana basics. The plug type used down in Dominican Republic Putacana is type A and type B. The currency used in the Dominican Republic is Dominican peso. The US dollars is also widely accepted down there. International dialing code down in the Dominican Republic is 1809, 1829, and 1849. The emergency telephone number down in the Dominican Republic is 911. If you found any value in this video, be sure to support this channel by simply clicking on that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on exciting videos about travel destinations and more.
don't forget to check out our playlist of top videos showcasing the best places to visit, live and retire. Until next time, happy and safe travels.